Hi, today we are discussing about how to use test script recorder in JMeter. So go for the section. I here divide each step by step nine steps I have given. So we can go each section. First of all, go to the JMeter and use the template, create template. This icon template, create, click on that, then choose the recording then click on create here we use the site place demo i copy the domain and paste it over post to record and the schema is https so no need to change anything click on create so the template is created then we need to enable this script recorder by right click and enable and also need to move the recording control controller and under the test script recorder yes successfully moved so the first step is completed use the template recording this is done okay then next step is set the chrome browser manual proxy setup for that taking the chrome and go to the settings search with proxy open that and enable the manual proxy setup and enter the address as localhost and the port number i have given 8081 and click on yes so the changes are saved then close it then go to the jmeter take the HTTP test recorder here also we need to change the port number into 8081 and here we can see the template by default some of the URLs are excluded that comes under the extension BMP, CSS, JS, GIF these are not needed for the recording action so comes if the if the URLs are comes under this extension then it will be excluded. So go to the steps and this second step is completed. Then third step is import the root test certificate to the Chrome browser. For that I just start the recording and click on OK. Then the root certificate is created. Now please stop the recording. So the next step is need to import the root CS certificate for that. Search the certificate. Then go to the security. Here we can see the securities, the certificate, the manage certificate. Click on that. Then go to import the root CA certificate of JMeter. First we need to install on intermediate certification authority. For that click on import and browse the certificate. This is the root CA certificate generated. Click on OK. Click on next. Next. Finish. Then the, take the other tab. Trust root certification authorities. Import the same certificate again here also next next finish here also it's imported then take the next step trusted publishers here also need to import the same yes done successfully next finish this also completed you can see the certificate here so the third step is also completed so the next step is the fourth step is recording and open the chrome and perform actions on testing site so before that i need to close this chrome browser for reflecting the actions then again open the chrome and go to the jmeter and start recording and give the transaction name as launch as given as name 
second name name it any name i have instead of launch because i'm launching this site and copy the testing url copy your testing url and paste it here hit enter so it's launched so next i going to action required is find flight by the way we can see these actions are recorded under the recording controller okay then next step is find flight click functionality i choose the departure city is paris and choose destination as london and click on find flights so the next page is loaded successfully i stopping right now the recording okay thus i have stopped here also captured from some actions we done over the from browser and now the fourth step is also completed so done the next step is the stop recording that also done then the next step is sixth one the next step is filter out the required request and move to the thread group so the sixth step is we need to check each request captured the here the domain is google google.com our do, our testing site is based demo so this is not required this is not required this is not required this is required because if it is empty means we are defined the user defined variable here the blaze demo so that's why it's here empty so it's a record request so control c copy and move to the third group by control v so the launch site is captured here and going to the find flight we can check the domain is different we can go to each and every one by clicking and we need to find out the record action here come to the, this uh, here, this one is record one because the empty the port from port is paris and to port is london so this is one our record request control c and control v this doesn't work i will try again control c and control v yes successfully copied this one now we not the needed this the script recorder so disable by right clicking and click on disable so here it comes in thread group i given the number of thread as one and for analyzing the request and uh, there is a view result tree and so we need to run the test first thing so i will run the test we can save it or we know if not needed now click on no if you want to save this project click on s and give a some name and it will saved and we can open it later now i don't save this project so i am clicking on no and the test is run yes this is the result we are capturing so for verification we need to use the assert action so till now we are completed this one and the next step is for verification add assertion so i am going to add assertion over the request here http request so for that we asserting some value in the page so you need to by default it will be in text format you can go to go to the site and find out the unique keywords and thing there i have i will search with this keyword for launching is successful or not so you can search over there find out the yes go to response data you can you can see the welcome to the sample travel simple travel agency is there so we can assert with this response data so go to the launch 
click on write add assertion you can choose response assertion so it comes under added in response assertion, assertion in launch then choose the option field text response and substring choose substring by default this says add the click on add button and paste our text need to verify so i copy the way text so once launch it will check the text is equal to this one then only if it is equal then our test is passed otherwise it will fail so i have added on launch same way we need to add and some one assertion over find flight so click on london flight plan we can find a unique value here here we can airline this keyword we can assert so go to the view result tree and go to the find flight and find out this one is there under response data so find out yes this is there so we can use this airline keyword for assertion same process we applied on launch right click add assertion and click on response assertion and click on add for adding the keyword airline that means if we run the j meter if it is the response response contain airline then only it will success suppose we are applying heavy load sometimes the airline the page is not coming so the response data does not contain the word the airline so the test is failing so we can find out the area where the request is failing how much areas are failed request are failed by applying a VA load so assertion will help for that so we have set the assertion for that so the seventh step also completed we added assertion response assertion is added then we can run the test with 10 50 etc based on your application or requirement here I just tested for the third group under two users I have given ramp up one and loop count is one so two users are up in one second so we can check the response we can clear out by this result by clicking on this clear all then we can run we can check what is happening there click on run yes this is pass okay that means the two number of the group is successfully passing if we are given 10 we can run 10 users ramp up in one second that is in one second 10 users are hitting on target url that means if you going to test 100 100 users ramp up in one second okay then coming to the fail case suppose i forcefully failing this one by giving by giving so now the eighth step is completed run test on the z load condition 10 50 100 etc as per your requirement so next i I will give some idea about suppose we failing if you trying with 100 or 1000 is suppose is failing then what happened so for that I purposefully failing I giving giving the in assertion I have giving value as test test sample okay I know this is this 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 label is will not there in response so it will forcefully fail so suppose I run this test it will fail the launch site will be failed I clear this one and uh, I give one the global one and run the test so we can see the result 
the launch is failed because the in response association the test the sample is not there likely if we given a value previously we given a welcome label if there is there then it's success so verification is done is there done over here by using the response association so the final step we can take report like for that we can most of the case we don't use the view result tree it's only used for analyzing analyzing the or the request previously we have seen that after completing the troubleshooting and setup we can disable this and you can uh, use the listeners like summary and another report type is aggregate report so by using this we can use get a complete report i will show that one clear the test result the previous one and run you can see the aggregate report here here you can see the launch is error 100 percentage the fight is error zero it's successful okay here also the same aggregate report so you can download it into the excel format as you wish so for this section i have completed or thank you for the listening and happy learning if you have any doubt you can comment it over there i will reply to each and everyone thank you